In this video, I'm going to show us how to uh, get started on our drafting S and drafting C assignments. Uh, one of the things we should have already done is we should have all of our data entered into our um, worksheet that shows both the parts uh, by this time. And it'll make the process a lot faster. Um, if we haven't done that yet, you may want to do that. Now, uh, the next thing is we're going to start our project actually by making a folder in Google Drive. And this is the folder we're going to save all our stuff to. So how we do that is come into a new tab in Google Chrome. From there, go to Drive. Your rapid identity might be your best bet as far as uh, my.isd728.org. And then going into your drive from there. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to make a folder. So how do I do that is going to the new, which is the plus in the upper left hand corner. Select that. That top selection I have or I'm able to do is folder. Select it. It's going to ask you what to name it. We are going to call this 8th grade IT. And I didn't even put any spaces in there because I don't really need to. If you want to, you can. From there I'm going to hit create. That's about all I needed um, right now in my piece. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go into another tab, and I can actually use the same tab, into an app called SketchUp for Schools. The way you guys want to do it is use the search key, which is the key above your shift key, to search SketchUp for Schools and then select the app. When you select the app, you'll get this little time frame right here where it kind of gets it's bouncing, it's opening up. Uh, eventually, usually you get a thing that says, do you want to link this to your account? And you want to hit the little blue button on the bottom that says, yes, please link my Google account. I think it'll have you sign in one more time there. But then it'll, you'll get to this thing called the home screen. Uh, the home screen when you guys come in, unless you guys have made something in SketchUp before or SketchUp for schools before, will be empty. If you notice, I have a few things going on in mine. Now, uh, the thing that I'm going to do right away here is I want to create new. So select create new. And my template I'm going to use is actually feet and inches. Once I hit that, it should pop up right here. Now, uh, we have a person in the middle, which all our SketchUp um, files do uh, starting out. This person is just for reference, kind of giving you an idea about how big a person is uh, in what we're doing there. Um, in this one, we're not going to actually need him there or her there, um, Temple Grandin can move. At the same time, uh, we're going to get kind of started as far as with them there. So uh, coming in right away, the next thing we're doing is we're going to save our file. So coming in, we're going to do a file menu, which is up here now, and then a save as. In this file save as, we're going to call this, first of all, your hour. In my first eighth grade class, it starts with a three. The next one is my last five, so mine will be Lema, and then your first five, Robert, which is your login, and then your middle initial, mine's O and double zero. And then we are going to call this drafting S. That's the name of this assignment, and hit OK. <clears throat> it's going to ask us, where do you want to put this? And I want to go into my eighth grade at IT, and this, I actually have a couple of them. Uh, you should have just the folders you have available in your drive. Select it. Hit select, and that will be saving to that spot. Now, if you notice, it says saving up here and then saved. You could always resave by selecting this button right here, this link, which hits, it'll actually allow you to save as you're going and making stuff. Now, one more thing I want to do is just get into the right view before I end this video, and that is going over here to the views, going up here to where it says front. We want to actually go to our top view for making this. So when we're looking down, we're looking at a green and our red axis. The next thing is I want to go into parallel projection. Uh, the other view type is perspective, which things appear smaller as they get away from you, uh, just like perspective drawings you've done in art class. Um, but we want to be in parallel projection so everything looks square. And we want to be in our top view. Now, uh, lastly, before I end this, I just want to make sure all my model info is coming in right. So I want to be model info. I'm going to be in half inch format. I'm going to be in precision of a 16th. We can actually take that 16th and make it a 32nd. Just because every once in a while it's nice to be able to do a halfway point between there. Um, not that we're going to measure in 16th, but every once in a while it's handy. And our snap interval is going to be uh, 1 16th. We can actually make that be 1 32nd also. 
Now, um, from there, we should be able to close out. Tuck that back away by closing the panel. Now, that's all we have for this video. Oh, sorry, one more thing. Let's select this guy and hit the delete key or use your eraser to delete Temple Grandin. And that's all I have for this video. Thank you for watching.